Helping couples all over mid-Missouri. Still want to hook up? Or at least trying to. Goodbye. Cosmo and the Y107 Morning Show's Hook Up or Hang Up. It is Cosmo and the Y107 Morning Show. This is Hook Up or Hang Up. Uh, all right, Lauren, you ready? I'm ready. Do it again. Coffee is hot, and we are ready to talk to Shelby this morning. She met Nick on Tinder. Chatted a little bit before they went out for some drinks a little bit. Uh, let's get an update from Shelby here this morning on the Silver Ball Arcade Bar Hotline. Shelby, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Of course. So so you swipe right, you meet Nick on Tinder, you go out for some drinks. What's the deal now? <sighs> well, hoping you can help me solve that because, uh, you know, I don't, I don't date very often. And uh, it was the first date I've been on in a while, and I was excited and nervous and I, I thought we had a really nice time like I thought there was going to be a second date lined up why why has it been so long since you've dated like is there any reason uh, are you fresh well, out of a relationship what's what's up hey I, I don't really have time I mean my job takes up a huge chunk of my life uh, so it's really okay. hard for me to uh to make time so gotcha okay yeah. I get it. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, that's why I'm I'm really upset because you know how it is. You take the time to get to know somebody and then they think it's okay to just ignore you. And it's, it's so immature. And I, I don't really have time for it. You know, I, yeah. I'm a businesswoman. Like, I don't I don't have time to be worrying about somebody's going to call me or ghost me. So I, I, hear, yeah. I hope you guys can help me. And that yeah. some of this may be the Tinder factor. It, you know, I was going to say that, yeah, sometimes Tinder and Bumble and all those other things are just, that is just what happens. You go on a lot of first dates and not a whole lot of second dates. Yeah, well, I guess I was just hopeful because a lot of my friends have met their, you know, significant others, you know, on social media type, you know, dating apps. And yeah. This is my first run on Tinder, actually. Gotcha. And he was my first date first guy I talked to, so it was like a big deal for me. Okay, well I mean, it obviously sounds like you think Nick's a nice guy and you want to talk to him again, you wanted to at least kind of think that you thought there was going to be a second date, so let's call Nick, let's get his side of the story, maybe I'm wrong and maybe he just, there's there's a reason and an excuse that, that, that makes some sense, so let's find out and get you some answers okay, Shelby? Okay. Hang on. Did your date never call back? Have us call them. Hook up or hang up. Presented by Silverball Arcade Bar. With Cosmo and the Y107 Morning Show. It's Cosmo and the Y107 Morning Show. We just talked to Shelby a second ago, Lauren. Uh, she met Nick on Tinder. Uh, Shelby hasn't been dating a lot lately. And actually, Nick was the first uh, date she met on Tinder. Yeah, she said that her career, it seems to be taking up a lot of her time. So she just doesn't have a whole lot of time to be out here dating. Right. She's a little miffed at why she's been ghosted. So we're going to try and get her some answers. Uh, let's get Nick on the phone and see if he can tell us his side of the story. Hello? Hey, is this Nick? Uh, yeah, this is Nick. What's this about? Hey, this is, my name is Lauren. I'm with Cosmo. We are Cosmo in the Y107 Morning Show. Do you mind coming on air with us today? Uh, no. Uh, no, I, I, I don't. But what is this about? Well, we just wanted to ask you a couple questions, if that's cool with you. Yeah, yeah. You can ask me any questions. Go for it. Okay. Um, we want to ask you about uh, a girl that you went on and had some drinks last week. Remember Shelby? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember her. Let me guess. Okay. Uh, you're calling me because I didn't message her. Yep. That's, that uh, is why we're calling you. Uh, she said that she had a really good time with you, and she... Wants to know why you're ghosting her. Um, to be honest with you guys, uh, long story short, I'm just—I I guess I'm just trying to give her a taste of her own medicine. What does that mean? Like, what? did she ghost you first? No, no. I mean, look, she was really, really nice. Um, but one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to dating is when the other person is constantly checking their phone. Ah. Okay. So was she on the phone a lot on your date? She was on the phone the whole night. I mean, she wouldn't even say, like, say, like, sorry or excuse me. Like, she made excuses for it. But no joke, it was, like, 20 times in the two hours we were hanging out. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, that seems excessive. It anyway, just made me feel like she wasn't that into me, you know? I mean. I get it. I guess that's why I was kind of surprised when she reached out again. So, okay, so were you planning on calling her at all? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I guess I'm, like, playing a game with her or something, you know, because it was just no rush, if you know what I mean. Okay, well, you might want to 
brush yourself a little bit right now because she's actually on the phone with us right now. Um, Shelby? <laughs> the hi. Hi there. <laughs> hey. Awkward. What's up? <laughs> uh, Sorry. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> it's, uh... Yeah, it's definitely awkward. It's it's awkward being ghosted. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I hear what you're saying about the phone thing. And just so you know, all the times I was checking it, I was not going on social media or, or Snapchat, but I was checking work emails. I mean, I, and I don't get me wrong, I totally respect that. And I, I, as for one, totally understand how important work is. But, like, when I'm out with somebody, especially, like, first impression, first date, I don't know, I guess I try to give them my full attention, even if, like, BS work email come up, you know? I mean, it's just, it's it's polite. Funny you want to talk about polite. Uh, not answering someone's texts and calls is oh, also God. not polite. And I don't know if you've looked around, but everyone's on their phones all the time. I, I've been, and I get that. And I've been on a lot of dates where the person's on their phone the whole time. And so maybe I, I guess I'm just I'm just I'm over it. <laughs> I'm just over it. Uh, okay, well I'm sorry you're over it, but I, I think you have way better luck dating if you could just get over this small thing. I get. I don't think it's something you get over, right? I Hold mean, on. why do I need to get over it? Well, Shelby, I mean, he has a great point, and I know work is important. We've all agreed to that, that our jobs are, are a huge part of our lives. Well, and not only our jobs, it's like we're all pretty much expected to be reachable at all times yeah. from everyone. But imagine that your boss would be pretty upset if in a meeting with him or her that you kept checking your phone for something else. Yeah, right? It was honestly for work. It was I, for work. No, I get it. No, I, I understand it was for work. I get that. But... At that moment, but what? But that, at that moment, the date is kind of like a job interview. Like if you check it once or twice during a date, that's one thing. Or say, real quick, excuse me, I got to check this for work. But then put the phone away, right? Yeah, I, I look. I totally get what you're saying, but it was honestly for work, and I've worked really hard and many years to get where I am in my career, and I wasn't going to risk having my boss get mad. You know, for someone I don't really know. I mean, I'm sorry it's very offensive, but, like, what am I supposed to do? This is my livelihood. Okay. I, 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 and I think, I mean, I think it's good that she has her priorities in order, but I still don't understand where she's coming from. I mean, it seems like you guys agree with me, and it's something that maybe I'll just don't see eye to eye on, right? Yeah, well, don't you think it's a little petty that you didn't just answer me rather than tell me you were upset about something? I mean, that's not cool at all I, I didn't ask you an explanation all night when you were staring at your phone like i feel like you're just not allowing any other opinion but your own <laughs> okay I don't, so i don't stare at my phone just so you know that's a huge exaggeration <laughs> yeah right okay so right, Shel i mean your shelby just really wanted an explanation for why you were ghosting her and we agreed that she deserved some kind of an explanation um, so I do think that it sounds like we're not really interested in a second date, right? I mean, Definitely not. You can leave a phone at home. Well. Okay. Well, hey, Nick, sorry to interrupt your morning. Uh, thank you for being open and honest and, and sharing your side of, of why uh, you ghosted Shelby. And Shelby, you know, you have yeah. you have the answer now. Um and maybe that is something to, to just think about, to just consider. Look, I, I love your show and I love you guys. So I mean, no disrespect, but this is my career. So the right guy will definitely not mine. So okay. maybe he needs to go find a woman to date who like doesn't have a cell phone or, oh. you know, lives in an old age home or some okay. kind of Amish settlement. Wow. Okay. Well, Shelby, sorry. We, we, yeah. Anyways. Thank you for listening. Appreciate you reaching out. I guess we're just going to have to beg to disagree on this one. Yep. Um, or to differ on this. But good luck uh, with both your job and, and, and dating. Oh, oh, thank you. Did your date never call back? Have us call them. Hook up or hang up. Presented by Silverball Arcade Bar. With Cosmo and the Y107 Morning Show.